Hey, what's up? Um, this is the embalming case report um, that we're presenting today because we thought it would be a perfect case to demonstrate um, the inability for Pascal's law uh, to be enforced within the human body. And when we accept Rascal's law as being the actual case, we can advantage ourselves to do better. Now, in this circumstance, you'll notice that the decision was made to use the left common carotid artery because the embalmer had suspect that there would be distribution issues. And so they were attempting to direct their flow of fluid um, to the lower extremities more proportionately originally. And that was done with a 16-inch flexible cannula being inserted fully to approximately this site here pressurizing the body. Now they injected a total of 220 ounces and this is the total solution index here of about 2.6. Um, and when the initial 64, 128 ounces were put into the body, um, the majority of the fluid was making its way to these regions that I'm sharing, um, shading in green. And these upper regions though receiving fluid there was less saturation. So the embalmer changed their fixed position from here after this initial 128 ounces and began removing the cannula and fixing the position closer to those extremities and uh, the shift of pressure distribution was noticeable um, and saturation started being greater in these areas while the areas which originally were receiving high amounts of saturation uh, were not changing as much. So what we're demonstrating is that as fluid is introduced to the body there is a disproportionate amount of force applied based on where the fluid is introduced and that has to do with the corpulence of the human body. A 16 inch cannula that is flexible allows you to navigate the arterial system and thus manipulate uh, the proportion distribution of force. We hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.